Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Today I'm going to talk about the difference between 230 volt pumps and 115 volt pumps. <laughs> question a lot uh, and that is which pump is better for my application uh, if you have the same model pump and it offers two different voltage options uh, in this case this is our Springer series traditional half horsepower 230 volt pump this is our Springer series half horsepower 115 volt pump these are actually the exact same pump and a common misconception is that a 230 volt motor is going to be more effective and more efficient. That is not actually the case. Uh, they, if you look at the uh, wattage uh, of both the, the motors, they actually use exactly the same wattage. Um, this will pull 10 amps on a 115 volt circuit. This will pull 5 amps on a 230 volt circuit. So even though this is using less amps, it's actually using the same amount of power uh, so it, it, it really doesn't matter. In terms of efficiency and effectiveness, these pumps operate at exactly the same pump curve at exactly the same performance specifications. So there's no difference there. Where there is a difference is if you have an application where your water tank is several hundred feet from your, uh, your electrical panel. And we want the distance from the electrical panel to the pump. Whatever that distance is, if it's greater than 150 feet, we absolutely recommend going with the 230 volt pump. The reason for that is that the load on the motor is spread between two hot wires. So there, uh, even though it's using the same wattage as this, the amperage is split between, the load of the, of the motor is split between two hot wires instead of one. So you don't need as large of a gauge of wire for a 230 volt pump um, as you would for a 115 volt pump. But again, this only matters if the water, if the pump is more than 150 feet from your electrical panel. Um, so if it is, we absolutely recommend going with the 230 volt motor because you'll be able to use smaller wire, which will save money in your installation costs. Other than that, there's no difference between the two and um, it's really a matter of what your electrical panel has room for. If you have room for a 230 volt breaker, go ahead with the 230 volt pump. If you only have one single slot open in your panel, go with the 115 volt pump. But it's truly, uh, it, it's irrelevant except when the distance is greater than 150 feet. Hopefully this has been helpful. And as always, these products are available on our website www.rainbrothers.com, as well as a wire sizing chart, which I will put a link to below in the description. And thank you so much for watching.